And now that you've said the word. It'd be kind of cool. I want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here with Rose Zhang. I think I'm just going to start it up and just the first weekend of, as a professional at a major, just your overall thoughts. Uh, it's been incredible. Uh, I felt so much support and love from the crowds out here. And it's really cool um, that I was here in New Jersey at Mizuho the last couple weeks, and now I'm here at my first major. Um, safe to say it's super special, and I took it all in for sure. All right, we'll open it up. Go to Jeff. Can you tell us a little bit about the atmosphere of being right there on kind of a crazy su a Sunday with so much going on? It was, yeah, it was definitely very tense. I felt a lot of energy from the crowds. Um, I knew that the groups in front of me and the groups behind me uh, were playing super well and alongside me, uh, Lin Yixin was playing amazing as well. And um, it was just a really fun experience to just be in the hunt, uh, especially at my first major. Uh, I've been in position before as an amateur, but um, this week was pretty special for a little new career start. Got him. I was just curious how the nerves felt different being in contention at a major down the stretch. Yeah. Um, I guess I feel like it's still golf, so I still felt the same energy as any other event. Um, except this is major week and the g golf course is a lot harder. It's playing a lot more difficult and you have to be on your toes at all times. Um, so losing a little bit of focus causes you to, you know, have errors and um, that's just something you can't afford at a major championship. But um, I think that was the different part was just making sure that you're still in the moment and you're still hitting it shot by shot, regardless of what the result is. All right, Sarah. What did you learn about yourself this week, maybe something different compared to what you learned about yourself at Mizuho? Mm, well, <laughs> to be fair, the first week at Mizuho, it felt a little bit um, just surreal. I didn't feel like I was a professional. I was straight up coming from NCAAs, and um, it was kind of just a trial run, in my opinion. Um, it was a little start to my career, and I didn't really have any expectations. And even this week, I didn't have any sort of um, expectations on myself, but at the same time, I wanted to see where my game ended up with the professionals and really see if I am able to be in contention on a good day, on a bad day, et cetera. Um, so it's really cool to see that my game is there, and um, I just have to work a little extra harder to play better. And how do you kind of reset, refocus, looking ahead to Women's Open, but taking this as a po another positive experience as you head to Pebble Beach? Definitely. I learned a lot, um, especially with Gilly on my bag. Um, it's definitely a different dynamic when you're a professional versus an amateur. Uh, and when you're playing your game, you really have to be precise with your numbers, really understand what your swing is doing. And there is no room for error. Um, therefore, you know, I'm excited to keep working on my game and make sure that it's pristine when I go to the U.S. Women's Open in Pebble. Gabby? You said today was your best ball striking day of the week. What do you think made the difference today? Was it you being kind of behind chasing everyone a little bit? Uh, maybe a little bit, but I also feel like um, with the amount of golf that I played, um, I'm always someone who loves repetition and loves to work on my game. So uh, when I have a couple rounds under my belt, I'm able to tap into more of a golf mindset and really just work on my swing or just be in um, position when I'm playing. Um, so yeah, I feel like just playing a little bit more golf this week um, compared to earlier in the week, it, it definitely helped me when I was hitting. Max? You played great, but ultimately fell just short. Now that it's all over and you're kind of, the emotions are kind of going through your, through your mind, are you disappointed more or you're you know, pretty content considering it was your, your first major start as a professional? Yeah, um, I would say I'm content with the result. I'm not content with how I played. Um, I just, from the beginning of the week, I feel like there's always room to work on things, and I'm really satisfied with my overall performance. But, you know, there's little mistakes that I made that you just 
can't really afford to make. Um, but yeah, I felt really confident with my putter the whole day and the last couple days. I feel like that really saved me this entire week. Um, but you know, the last couple holes, putts fell a little short. They lipped out a little bit. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. I feel very satisfied. And were you leaderboard watching down the stretch or just you know, thinking about your game? I was not leaderboard watching. Um, it's not usually my style when I'm playing, uh, but I did know that I was somewhat in contention. I knew I was one or two shots here and there, but um, yeah. All right, and then last two here. Thanks. Um, <clears throat> can you talk about your mental stamina just over the last few days? You know, it's your first major, and then also, I mean, today we had the rain delay. Just how do you keep yourself in it? It's been really solid. I feel like uh, college golf has really prepared me well for a long week. I've been in major weeks before as well, um, so I understand that the entire week is just a um, long game instead of just a sprint. And um, I don't. I feel like, especially being out on these difficult golf courses, um, you really have to stay in the moment. So I really tried my best to do that and prepare my body well after rounds, et cetera. Yeah, and then can you just, um, what do you think about the Rosebuds? What do you think about the name that they gave you, that your fans gave themselves? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I will say I did not make that up, so it's definitely not me who, who even came up with that idea. Um, my teammates called themselves Zang Gang, and they, once I came back on campus after Mizuho, um, they were more so just arguing about how the Zang Gang was the OG squad <laughs> and posse. Um, but I was so honored to just have everyone come out and support. Uh, I felt so many cheers, so much love, so much energy, and it was really incredible. Thanks. All right, thank you, Rose. Thanks.